Uh, but actually, the story on how I became uh, CTO of Picator is interesting. So I met Marin, the founder, in a startup competition. I had my own small idea for a startup. He had Picator, and he was at that time solo, and he was completely non-technical. But he knew that he wanted to build. At the time, it was supposed to be uh, like Uber for Mr. Shopping. Uh, so like you're an owner of, your, of a cafe bar, you want to know if your waiter is doing their job, you can order a mystery shopper to go in, get a coffee, see if the waiter said hi, if the restaurant was clean, if the toilet was clean, give you a quick report, and that would cost you, I don't know, 50 euro or something. And he was not technical, and he came with that story, and so we met, he's a fun guy, we had great time in that startup company, Rieka, that was really cool. And then we haven't seen each other in a while, but as we befriended on Facebook and on LinkedIn and whatnot, I could see that he was posting, creating content, or, and every now and then it would pop up and he was bringing up new content, he was bringing up new stories, he was bringing up uh, new experiences, what he learned of the industry, what he learned, how he improved, how he failed, how he used no code to develop something, how he found some people to develop a basic website for him, how he has a new way. And things like that. So even without a technical team, even without a tech, he was pushing it eight to 12 hours a day to learn about the industry, to learn who has the problem, to learn what he can do, to speak to people, to get ideas how to market it, to get ideas. So there's a ton of things that a non-technical founder not can do, but must do in order to get a startup run. The development is just a small part of it. The, the whole experience includes building a business around the product. The product doesn't sell itself. You need a business around the product. And Martin was great there. And actually, in, I don't know, eight months after that, we got together because he needed help. He actually got a client. And he actually got a big client. It was like a... a, a furniture house that had operations in Croatia that has like at least 50 stores in Croatia. We need Picator need to do some serving for them and all that. And he said, okay, now I have a big client. They expect us to deliver this in three months. Now we need a software help. And we did the, uh, we actually, you know, I did the first software as a, as a contractor for them. I charged and then we said, okay, are you going to, are you interested in doing this for real? And I was, and now four years later, we have a big platform. We have a company in the UK. We have people using it. It's awesome and things like that. But it didn't start with him saying, hey, I have this idea. Can you build it? It started with him actually pushing for a year and a half with his head through a brick wall before he even came to development. And for me, the fact that he was not just like anybody else who has an idea, but the fact that he was actually pushing on his idea, doing something about it, was the thing that said, okay, I want to do, I want to work with this person. 